Are outside forces offering to pay controversial candidates not to run for office? Newly published audio of a secretly recorded conversation appears to show at least one GOP state chairman discussing that very possibility with a U.S. Senate candidate. This is not about money. This is about our country. That's Arizona Republican Senate candidate Carrie Lake in what the Daily Mail reported is leaked audio of state Republican Party chairman Jeff DeWitt offering to pay Lake to not run for office and offer the paper characterized as a bribe. There are very powerful people that want to keep you out. Of the I know service. they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is in a big way. While the recording has yet to be independently verified, Lake can be heard pushing back, telling DeWitt that the powers that be, which have not been identified other than being from the East, should want to back her bid for office, not push her out. Lake standing firm that no amount of money or threats could scare her off. 10 million, 20 million, third, no, 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 a billion, no. The audio goes on with DeWitt telling Lake to keep quiet about their conversation leading Lake to say she is going to stand behind former President Donald Trump to fight back against alleged corruption. I know, these, all these consultants don't want their, their payday to end. And I don't want to make a deal with these kind of people. This is a hill worth dying on. Since the leak, Lake and other Republicans have called for DeWitt's resignation. This story is considered a media miss for left-leaning news outlets. As the Straight Arrow News media miss tool shows, the majority of outlets covering it are right-leaning. Our real-time media miss tool spotlights which stories right-leaning and left-leaning outlets aren't covering so you get a complete picture of the news. According to outlets that are reporting on this story, Lake, DeWitt, and the Arizona GOP have not responded to requests for comment. Lake, who echoed Trump's claims about 2020 election fraud, lost her bid for Arizona governor in 2022. She's now in a tight race for an Arizona Senate seat. A January poll has Lake leading her Democratic opponent in a head-to-head -head matchup if incumbent Kirsten Sinema, an independent, decides not to run for re-election.